and and Nathan, yesterday, I I'd, I'd completely forgotten this until we were doing the newspaper review when I read Brigadier General Nunu Mensa saying he's yeah he's conflicted. He's not happy about the kind of Ghana he's leaving behind because times are too tough. That's when I completely recalled what happened only yesterday. You know, it was around dusk, around four three thirty mm -hmm. four thereabouts. I was leaving. I went to check out the. Legon University of Ghana Stadium, by mm -hmm. the way. It's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. It's coming together very beautifully. So on my way out, just within the traffic lights, you're taking the turn on the right hand side and joining the main road. Mm -hmm. I had rolled down for some for some reason I don't know why. It's it's not a good thing to roll down. Mm -hmm. You don't you don't you don't do that. You just roll up all the time. And then this guy just popped up, you know, and because I rode down, his face was right in my face, almost through the window. And he was like, yo, I have to tell you the truth. I be thief. But I know be every day we go thief. Forgive me something. This was scary, man. And you see, I hardly carry money on me when I'm moving around, but I had some coins. So I gave him the coins I had. And I said, no, Charlie, if I be can't own any, so... I say, oh, Charlie, this be all I have. Not say, ah, but you be stingy. So I say, oh, bro, this be all I get. Say, I, I don't tell you, I be tea for. I don't walk to the the he mentioned a slum in town and he said that's where it's going. I was like, okay, Charlie, all the best, cause media, this is all I have. You know, at the moment, I was stunned. I couldn't roll up. You are negotiating with that. Well, I, I was negotiating for my you. safety. Where, I was, where, where were you? I was, I was at Legon. You know, I was I was coming out of uh, of of Legon through the University of Ghana and Uko, Uko, about yeah, to join. Yeah. Oh, that Uko, Uko. That's the Uko. question. Na bela Legon dia yeah, 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 bro. It's like you are, <laughs> no, but this is Legon. If I can't if I can't be safe at Legon, then where else, better? There are parts. I was just there, coming there are parts out of Legon that are not well lit for a long time. Oh, bela, this was in the day. Uh, this was not at night. Th there are places like there was a place between the new business school. Yes. And some of the hostels and they van the percent that end well, well yeah. and people when they close from lectures are they attacked all the time. Bernard, this was in the day. I didn't sign a crime. Were you walking or driving? No, I was driving. And the guy came into your the car. The guy can say, Oh, I have to tell you the truth. I'll be thief. He's probably a junkie. But not be every day we go steal. So you forgive me something. But that's if you don't clear from there, you go arrest and then slap him. But it not be easy like that. <laughs> you are too you are too No, scared. it not be easy like that. Because okay. the guy bring in face for your car it's inside too. So. It's what? No, this is a TikTok guy who drive the car and slam him. <laughs> Bella, why, you why, are why, in traffic. You Bella, you are in traffic. The car is not moving. Yeah, that bro, is happening. Don't, don't be intimidated by bullies, who. Oh. Oh. No, like, Bella, you, you have you, to experience it. No, Bella, you have to experience it. No, it's it's but I'm just saying that you see don't allow bullies to intimidate you. So what? Man, and if you if, if circumstances <laughs> if 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 they are everywhere if, if you read bro, bro, and then up properly, it appears they are increasing. Oh well, yeah, those are bro, safety don't, measures. Don't but go the to point is places. that <laughs> but the point is that if you find yourself uh, in a jam with uh, sometimes you have to negotiate a, 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 a thief who is in a position to harm you. you. I mean, there are there are concessions you make in those circumstances. Ah, but you are driving a vehicle and the person is walking. But yeah, I, the car is not traffic. moving. Were you in traffic? Yes. Yeah, so, Close uh, traffic. Yeah, so clearly, why, 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 why is the only person he came to? Well, his the glass was down. And of course, the guy saw him as a legitimate target to ask something. That's true. So, you know, if you've never been in that position, <clears throat> I, I remember there was a time, you know, at the time I was at Roman Ridge, and, you know, just drove into the house. And uh, from behind us, some you know, armed robbers with guns. Oh, I remember when you were Roman Yes, that's right. Yeah, I remember that was serious. Well, serious. That was wow. very serious. You know, somebody would have. But said, that one, they, they attacked you as you were entering your house, yeah. and it wow. was dark. Yeah, it so was that's dark. a different situation. Wow. I won't advise what I advise Caleb now. Yeah, mm. that's a different situation. They had weapons. Yes. and wow. you didn't want to cause any problem, mm. so they so took what they took. Did negotiation. Well, you have surrendered whatever I needed to surrender, yeah. especially the because second. they had me monitoring him. Yes, so he came home, and you know it's funny that day you probably were tired. You got home late, Charlie. and that's the day they pounce at your weakest moment. That's what happens, Bernard. The aggression with which street beggars are begging now, <laughs> the aggression with which those who come and wash your windscreen without you asking, the aggression with which they are doing that now, for me is very concerning. That's that's something that I just want to clear clear off my heart. And the second thing that is bothering me is ECG. Mm. You know, yesterday I was following the anchor story. This morning you guys were reading the anchor story, mm. and you know, I think what our authorities have decided 
this is that if there's no shadow, there's no load Doomsa. shedding. Yeah. <laughs> because doomsaw yeah. is such a bad word. So the president even used it like we'll never go back to the doomsaw days of 10 years ago. But the reality is that there's the lights are going off <clears throat> regularly. Now there's no they are not following a rhythm that you can predict. But the truth is that a lot of times the light goes off. We've been on generator. I think for the past three days, almost all the time, we have to go on generator to a point where we have to even shut down the station and come back on. Do you get it? So like we'll be there and the, the tanker manager will say, look, we've been on generator since whatever, 6 p.m. Wow. And we've been, it's been like that. The lights will go off and it's not just here, different parts of the country. Mm -hmm. In fact, Tuesday, after the president's donation address, that evening, that's very a easy. lot yeah. of places went off. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's sometimes true. Sometimes it's a local fault. Sometimes, look, I don't know. They should just fix the problem. You know, politicians are more interested in who takes the credit, who takes the blame. I don't really care. If you are, check your check your bill. Are you paying more for power? Are you having more load shedding? Or are you having more light out? Yeah. How are you planning your own production? Those are the things you should be looking at. You know, it's I don't know. It's and the, and the other things that the ECG will always take advice from Gridco. Sometimes they'll talk to the uh, BRA. So I'm not really sure who's even taking responsibility because sometimes they will say Gridco says they have some issues, so they should shed load. So ECG will just implement what Gridco said they should do. Mm -hmm. Other times, some generating people will say we don't have enough, so they advise Gridco to. It's all confusing. But they should just you know? give us a load. They should just give us a timetable. No, there's no timetable. So because plan our, they will never give you a timetable. Even if they like to go for, for 72 hours, they'll never give you a timetable mm. because a timetable is admitting. That, that they are in Doomso. Yeah, yeah. So what, whatever they do, they'll give they will never go back to Doomso because Doomso is a political animal. So there's you are not gonna get you are not gonna get a shadow anytime soon. Even if there's light off for three straight days, you won't get a shadow. Somebody even called me yesterday, I should give him the contact of Ferdinand Abudak, the Doomso guy, the Doomso <laughs> fan, because he needs a Doomso fan. So you have to change it to Doom no, CSA fan. No, no, no. <laughs> so Ferdinand. Your, your, your thing that you are selling, no? change the name to Doom CSA fan. Because Bernard, not it, so. it, it's really not working because if you have little children at home, they, they are sweating, they are not able to sleep at night, you have a long day, you get home and there is no light, so there is no comfort. If you have food in your fridge, it's gone bad because you didn't anticipate the light to go off, so you've not planned for it. And if you are a small scale business, you are into production mm -hmm. it means that your cost of operation is going to shoot up you will not be able you... to take some orders because you are not sure when the light will go off mm -hmm. and so, everything just becomes basa some comment i got this morning you know when somebody sends you a message at dawn it means they are hot so, <laughs> better good morning we have to get into this surreptitious doom so uh -huh. it uh -huh. looks like no one really picked it up i just collected my seven <laughs> almost 6 a.m dose overnight wow. <laughs> 7 to 6 a.m. Yeah. 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. He says enjoying it quietly. Yeah. <laughs> my, you know, on the day the president read the State of the Nations address, my mom was telling me that they didn't have electricity from about 2 p.m. Uh, till about... So she didn't even hear that. <laughs> 1, 1 a.m. the next morning, mm -hmm. right? So that's about 2 p.m. Tuesday to about Wednesday morning at, at 1. And I had several people say the same thing. Some people have their, their power getting interrupted at specific time, let's say from 6 to 10 every night or mm -hmm. from whatever to whatever. Mm -hmm. And you can clearly see that there's something very off about mm -hmm. the power supply. But the people in charge will not say anything because like what Bernard is saying, it's become a so political Doomsaw, animal. Doomsaw is a scheduled power outage based on generation problem yes that's then so if you Which want to is write clearly a money problem so no if you want to put in the dictionary doomsaw is a scheduled power outage based on generation so anything else is not doomsaw so whether it's maybe grid code needed to do some upgrade or a local fault somewhere <laughs> or there's no money to pay people that is not <laughs> no don't give you a schedule so the schedule they won't get shred. they'll die in the socks I, I, schedule. I, 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 find give you schedule power, I, I find it to be very meanwhile the prc has reduced marginally though the yeah. um tariff for electricity 6.5 percent for what is worth and this is um for the people above the 300 uh, kilowatt hour bracket mm -hmm. those in the lower bracket will not experience mm -hmm. um any change the decision was communicated in the press release outlining the pure assist tariff review for the first quarter of this year covering electricity water natural gas statement signed by ishmael aka executive director of prc was mm -hmm. basically pointing out that um this has this is based on all the considerations, mm -hmm. the factors the commission wishes to use, right? Now, in the fourth quarter of last year, PRC announced a marginal increase of 0.34% for water 
and a slight decrease of 1.52 for electricity. Under the revised tariff, res residential water customers saw an uptick of 4.72 to 4.74. I need to also say that there are some places where I also complain about lack of water. Yes. Yeah. So apart from Tamale, <coughs> that said they didn't have water. There are other parts of the country that have complained come down to Accra, that areas they are, like that. they've not had water for a while. So yeah. there's a lot to be said about the utilities and how they are um, managing the shadows. Let me read another one that's coming in from another listener yeah. on the situation. So they say yesterday, Wednesday, the large part of Adenta all the way through Lakeside to Ajingano and beyond went off from 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. Now think about that. Adenta yeah. to Adringano. That's a large area. They didn't have power. So Adenta maybe they, to Adringano. Yep. Wow. Large parts of Adenta. That's, that's, that's serious. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the situation with um, the power power matter. Anyway, some of you have sent your messages. We'll get to them shortly. Um, Loki, Loki Doom. <laughs> Loki Doom. <sir. laughs> Loki Doom. So, the, the WhatsApp line, you can share your thoughts with us on 0549 986 996. 996. But yesterday was. Um, Before that, another. Yes, so, there are increases. So Yarifa yeah. also, Pantan as well. So we told Yarifa and Pantan went off after the president's address hmm. and came back on Wednesday morning. After ah. the president's so, address. So it's like there's some, some, there's some so maybe you can map it. So Oyarifa Oyarifa and, to the contrary, yeah. Yeah, so Oyarifa and Pantan went off at the president's address and came back on Wednesday morning. Yeah. Then you had the um, Adenta to Ajingano going off 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. this morning. Then you have um Teshinungwa. Yeah. Um entire Teshinungwa area, 6:30 p.m. to 2 a.m. Mm. So somebody is staying up at 2 a.m. to calculate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm sure if you read the message, you'll see yeah, it's, that, it's quite that, a lot. There are quite a number. For example, <clears throat> Ashaman had lights out last night. I'm not sure if it's back. If you have light now in Ashaman, let us know. East Legon Hills, they didn't have but Maybe Man. Nathan, you should get your mapping guys to hmm. put the all yeah. the names into some map. Then we can generate. Yeah. <laughs> no, we will derive. You know how you derive an equation? We will derive the Dumsor equation. <laughs> and Bernard, it's not, it, it doesn't... derive the Dumsor equation. It doesn't appear to be only Accra. Is it? You know, so people tell me, but hey man, Trifopra, so they had light. But if you go to Kintampo South, mm. they had no light. Wa West, no light. Within which period? Did they give you the time? They, they didn't give, but this was so yesterday. You know, to derive the equation, we yeah. need the time and the place. The duration, you know, the you, place when, and when, the time. When you are driving an equation, yeah. you, need, you need time and place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's the thing. Kaswa say they didn't have light, but Kaswa, yeah, it's also not Accra. So. But it appears to be... But you know Kaswa is funny. Kaswa, Ka Kaswa is, should be a whole ECG region. Yeah. Because even oh, though yeah. Kaswa is in the central yeah. region, yeah. Kaswa is big it enough is. to have... Tema is a region. Yeah. On its own. Yes, Tema is. Yeah, and then of course Accra. Um, I think what do we need to know though is what is the underlying cause? Is there a generation issue? Is there a transmission issue? Is mm -hmm. there like some fuel issue? Is there a money issue? What's happening? We need to understand this. You know, the doom saw in 2013-2014 was serious. Yeah. Because that it was so bad that look, you would go to places and the barbers are all sitting outside yeah. waiting. They couldn't do their yeah. work. Yeah. And it was long and difficult. And we had to get new, new, in new generation. I think we've learned from that experience. So what they do is that if they sense a problem, they find a way of fixing it. If they feel like people are going to agitate for payment, they yeah. find a way of getting them the money. Yeah. So credit to them. This, I don't think there will be ever that level sustained. of sustained. No, they they figured out how so, to deal yeah. with it, which is good. Yeah. But I still feel that that does not mean we shouldn't admit that there are challenges and then get people to plan. Yeah. You know, because if you can't plan it, like here we are. I remember. Last week, for a number of times, we had to put off the system because we were just using too much generator fuel. Wow. You know? And then our ECG consumption has also gone up significantly. So if you, if, I don't know if listeners can attest to this. Yeah. If you look at how much you spend on power based on those who buy prepaid, yeah. it's galloping at a very high rate. I don't know whether ECG is yeah. deliberately changing something, but you'll be buy like Sky, you can buy... Yeah. Mm -hmm the same amount of power you, you use for a month. You don't even put on your no, ACs. And the thing is going very, very fast. Crazy. Yeah. My data too is going very, very fast. Yeah, hmm. because of people like... Yeah, so I don't know what's happening. It's like they have designed the hands-on race, ECG mm -hmm. and MTN, the hands-on 100 meter race. <laughs> you know, last two weeks I bought data. Today, no, I said data. It Everything finished. You know, and ECG too, you buy it and it, keep, it keeps going. So I don't really know whether there is... And so when they announce the tariff, I just I don't even understand yeah. how it works. And yeah. the other thing is that, Sky, is there an independent body that verifies how much tariff is charged? Because people actually announce the tariff. Exactly. 
Is there a place I can go and take my my meter and actually check? Whether well, there's you know if I'm actually being charged. Indeed. You know, like you know, if I buy water mm-hmm. in a, a bottle, I can I, and I buy a dispenser. I know how much water I've bought, mm-hmm. and I can tell if I fetch two cups, the water is going down. Mm-hmm. But power is such a tricky thing. Does the average Ghanaian even know if he's being charged the right amount for power? You get it? Because yeah. I, so there was a day I didn't put off all my ACs. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You know, we open the windows. But the power no one echo. You know, so I don't really know. It, maybe people ask you should one, one day come on air and explain. Maybe like they'll say the average AC takes this amount. So yeah. if you put it on for six hours, yeah. this is what happens. No, it's actually I the, think the, the, energy energy commission the energy commission supplies that kind of information. So yeah. if you yeah, if you go to the energy commission, you will be able to get those details. Are you sure? Yeah, that's right. Oh, but why don't do they okay, do they have a do they publish anything for us? Oh yeah, if you go to their website. You see how if you buy petrol, MPA can go to a fuel outlet and say mm. they went to this outlet, they buy the gallon and you realize that these people are cheating. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if yeah, N- yeah. Energy Commission yeah, can say that when we go to Adenta, when we go to this estate, ECG is charging the people wrong. I don't know. You yeah. know, I, I sometimes I yeah. suspect that they can say, Charlie, yeah. we need money this week, so the thing must move so fast. Just, yeah, like how do you check if ECG is actually charging with the right power? And, and the thing with the people, from from my experience, is it runs faster when the lights are going on. And yeah. Off. So the most annoying part of this whole doom thing is that when it's going off, it's not sustainable. You are not mm-hmm. having it consistently. That's when your your yeah. credit even goes faster. Yeah, you have from to be a, from buying a, more. From a legal perspective, ah. should there not be an independent yes monitor or arbiter of the amount of power you are so? Because how 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 based on all my training, how can I know that I've gone to buy six hundred CD power? I've put the thing on my meter. They say I have six hundred. Two is later, no later. Everything. And they say your power. So how do I know if ECG is not just pulling the credit, or they've calibrated my meter in a way that it's like at this area they 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 they, take, they 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 are rich, so let's charge them more. Well, you see, if you, you look know. at the the mandate of the PRC, it includes protecting the interests of consumers, Charlie. Charlie. Uh, utility consumers. Uh, mm. You know, so if you have a genuine case mm-hmm. as to why you believe that there are problems with how your meter has been calibrated. Mm. I believe you can appropriately engage them with a complaint. Mm. And um, where relevant, yeah. the Energy Commission would also make its input, um, okay. provided it falls properly within their scope. But the appropriate institution to engage where um, your meter blows off uh, because of doom saw, your yeah. machines are going bad, yeah. uh, and, and you are suffering all kinds of you know damages in the home or in the office or in the factory as a result of how your pie has been handled, it is my respectful view that the the, the PRC is the appropriate forum uh, to seek redress mm. uh, in order to protect your interests because their their their, their mandate mm. and compact- okay. So let, before we take, I just want to ask okay. um, PRC if you are listening, please send us the modules you use to measure. Yeah. Because until the meters are faster than we say both. <laughs> you know, the meters are yeah. very fast. Yeah. Otherwise, the type of meter you have, yeah. the area you stay, yeah. or your first level of consumption. Yeah. Maybe the first day you consume, they say, ah, this guy, Charlie, you have given the meter some idea that you have money. <laughs> so the meter has decided that <laughs> then you buy. No, but, no, <laughs> In fact, because yeah, I was also told that there are some areas that are notorious high consumption areas. So they have so whether or not you consume so more or not. What I was told is that if you live in certain areas, mm. because people have elevators and things in their homes, the power uh, hey. consumption is high. So there's a lot of pressure. Aggregate consumption. Transformer. And then they say, Charlie, if once this guy has a house, that means he also has money. It's, it's like you go to the market, you are going to buy something. Hey. And you use your khaki to say, I want this one. Uh. Using your khaki to point a low cost with the price. <laughs> anyway, let's oh, do wow. take social media trends and yes. see what we can do with this power thing. But ECG PRC, please. Mm. The way the meters are running is not good. Very important. This is the City Breakfast Show, the city's biggest conversation.
Seven past the hour, eight, and we are having a conversation on the power outage situation. Some of you have sent your messages. You can send yours as well, or even a voice note via WhatsApp on zero five four nine nine eight six nine nine six zero five four nine nine eight six nine nine six. Send us your comments. You can send us an audio. You can send us a text. All on WhatsApp. We are happy to share them. Perhaps when we have some time, we'll allow you to uh, yeah. even call in. But Bernard, so, some Caleb, messages are coming. Yeah, in, so I right? think there are three main issues. Mm. The first issue is people are saying. The, the power outages have become more regular, yeah. but there's no schedule. Yeah. So they want a schedule. Yes. That's point number one. Sure. Point number two is the low current. Mm -hmm. So when the power comes, either the current is low or it keeps going yep. on and off. Yep. So it's a bit of annoying. It mm -hmm. can destroy your gadgets yeah, or you can't use true. it to do anything. Then the third issue is the issue of the speed with which some people's meters run. That's not such a broad issue, but yeah. I think there are some people who have said yeah. they are feeling... The, so like the, the, the credits moves too quickly yeah. and they're so, sort of asking for a system to monitor. But I think the big issue is the lack of um, a timetable for what people perceive to be a low key do. So let me read a few comments that have come in. Sure. Bernard, there is price discrimination in electricity pricing that is not openly disclosed. Residents in certain places, East Legon, Cantonment, etc. Mm -hmm. and areas of similar characteristics pay a higher rate for the same units of electricity used by PS in Ashaiman or Nima. It makes some sense because it's easier to collect the bills in East Legon than that of Nima. It works like a cross subsidy of some sort. So if you appear to be paying more for same kilowatt of power mm -hmm. as used by a colleague in Ofanko or so too, it's not strange. That's Yao texting in. Then another one coming in. But, but it's not just the doom so. Mm -hmm. I got the lights back on this morning after going off at 6 p.m. yesterday. 6 p.m.? But the current is so low, I can't use the power for anything. <laughs> so this person asked me to give him the Doomsaw fan guy's number, yeah. which I happily <laughs> did. Um, yeah. Another one. I have one here. Bella, says, the truth is that so, so, so many homes and facilities have been wired very poorly or badly mm. that it leads to leakages in some cases, very serious galloping of the meter. Just as could happen in the case of a broken water pipe. So many people are paying for electricity that they have not consumed mm. through any useful device. That is not ECG's fault. So that's an interesting angle. If your house is poorly wired, there's leakage of power. Wow. Good morning, Bernard. <clears throat> PLC has a tariff recorder app on its website used to measure electricity consumption against the purchased amount. Okay. The app can be downloaded on the Google Play Store or the App Store. The commission also has an electricity consumption estimate to determine monthly consumption expenditure in Ghana cities and include what hours based on all appliances used in the home. Then a person sends me, this is Mamiesi, who sends this to me. So you can actually go to mm -hmm. prc.com.gh okay. forward slash something, something, tariff, something, something. <laughs> What's the name of the app? <clears throat> it's called, I'll, I'll get it shortly. Yeah, sure. Okay. Sure. Well, talking about, um, you know, unstable <clears throat> current, mm -hmm. uh, this one says, our electricity is not stable. Some parts of the room's I have lights and others don't. Even until this morning, some of the sockets and lights are off. So mm. that's a challenge. Mm. And in line with that, I also noticed that some people experience challenges with some phases. So some houses that have multiple phases. phases so yeah. one phase is off, yeah. the other is on, that kind of thing. It's it's a huge worry. We hope the ECG are listening. Let's go through some of the messages. Gameli Do says, this light issue is very serious. I live in Lashibi Community 16. We are constantly getting light off and low voltage almost every now and then. Within the week, we have light off like three times mm -hmm. and it's very terrible considering that these days the heat is just too much. Mm. This one says, this ECG issue. Hmm. Now, I'm even afraid of my meter. <laughs> the meter is become kakai. Yeah, it's... <laughs> <laughs> it runs faster than light and sound. They should have mercy on us because mm. the economy had. But I know some places in Accra where ECG's guy, ECG guys are afraid of visiting. So they don't pay their bills and their lights too don't go off. <laughs> Nana Kojo from Give Accra. all of them prepaid meters. Mm. This was in the last two years, my power consumption has gone from 200 a month to between what? 800 and 900 CDs a month. Hey. I understand it's based on location. Look at me, a bold driver who lives in Chadu with three children and a wife. Chado, you know, they Chado, are killing us. Chado, they, the houses are nice. So, so I tell you. you. Happy. I'm, <laughs> well, so, says, they I'm, are charging him based on the reputation of the neighborhood. Chado, the houses are nice. Yeah, the are not the concern. Oh, this one says, I'm fortunate. Move to Biano. <laughs> if you move across the bridge Biano, you'll be okay. Okay, he says, I'm <laughs> fortunate not to be paying rent to like my head tear. Mm, Someone came to check my meter and told me it had expired. 
But the way it was blinking, it just lights on there. I need to get a new meter. Mm. But I can imagine how long that will take. Um, mm. I've experienced three mm-hmm. nights in darkness and it's been hell. My nine-year-old had to write a newspaper report as homework last night. Mm-hmm. And to my utter dismay, uh-huh. her report headline was Doom, Doom Strikes, Strikes Again. again. This uh, is your nine year old. Yeah. If if the lights and the <laughs> fundamentals are weak. <laughs> no, Nana Moesi says if the power sector fundamentals are weak, Doomsaw will expose you. And he joins us over the phone lines, Bernard. So he's the CEO of the Institute of, of Energy, Energy Securities. Yes. Good morning, sir. Thank you for joining us. Uh, good morning to you, Caleb, and uh, thanks for having me. Good morning to your listeners and viewers. Good. The first question perhaps is is Doomsaw back? Um, if you could share your experience with me, I will share my with you. <laughs> uh, where I live, I am fortunate. I live within the Boom Power Enclave. We 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 don't usually see power go out, uh, but then my experiences have had in Cape Coast in a Kunfi Abor. Yes, of course. Um, doing so has been back with us even before the beginning of this year, and uh, will linger with us for a while until we're able to deal with the fundamentals. And where and here, what are we talking about when we are saying Doomso is going to linger for a while if we don't deal with the fundamentals? Is it all the money issue? Is it generation capacity? What is it? Okay, so uh, two key things I want to touch on. First is the issue of capacity, internal capacity. Uh, then also uh, fuel supply. The fuel supply reliability is contingent on financial capacity. And so um, that is it. Over the last 15 years or so, um, yes, we've had issue of installed capacity, uh, but then before the close of 2016, the past government, we can say confidently that it adequately addressed the capacity issues. What was left is to ensure that we have a handle on the fuel supply uh, domain. Uh, once in a while, yes, we'll get some shortfall from Akosumbo. I remember the water in our customer is also fuel for the plant, the hydro plant. But for the thermal plant, that largely rely on natural gas. Yes, we have the natural gas, some available in Ghana, some coming from Nigeria. But we are unable to pay them. And so uh, both the suppliers and sometimes even the transporters hence uh, a blockage in the supply or release of the natural gas to the power sector players. The IPPs have a contract with the fuel suppliers. However, the government have committed to pay for that uh, uh, fuel or the invoices. And so the IPPs will receive invoices from the natural gas suppliers. Then they pass it on to government. Government must defray those costs so that uh, the suppliers can, can also commit to supplying consistently. That has been the challenge. That's for once in a while you see or you find even the transporter, WAPCO, cut supply uh, or transportation of uh, gas from the Western Corridor to the Eastern Corridor. Then, of course, the end gas as well, once in a while you see uh, erratic supply. And from the beginning of the year, as we have observed, end gas is not flowing much. It can't cut off just like doom so, uh, and just try a nice way to get government to clear the debt. From the beginning of the year to date, the phase one of Astogli hasn't worked because um, hasn't worked because uh, Astogli relies so much on NGAS. Most of or almost all the NGAS go to Astogli. There's a phase two that's been working well. The support of flow of gas from the Western Corridor until last night. Uh, the first one was down, and um, due to these uh, challenges, uh, f- flow of gas from Western Corridor was, uh, you know, increased for Asogli. So for the very first time from the beginning of the year, Asogli was able to churn out almost 532 megawatts out of the 560. But then for all this period, they were doing less than 300 megawatts. That's why you see what is happening today. And you cannot discount Asogli in the equation of fuel supply, uh, power supply reliability in the country. 
So how long is this going to persist? You know, when we talk about doom so I think the politicians will say that in 10 years ago, it was doom so because it was generation and it was protracted and there was a schedule. To the extent that we haven't been given a schedule and to the extent that this seems to be every now and again. It's not as if we've had like a six-month period where there's no generation. Mm. So can we then say that this is not of the same kind as it was the decade ago? I think the president strove to make that point during the civil nation. Or whether it's protracted or not, so long as the power is not reliable, doom so is doom so. Where do you stand on that? Uh, Bernard, uh, you, you, you just shared experience of uh, a young girl uh, with the mother who shouted out doom so. Yes, even the babies, babies that are being fed can feel uh, doom so. Um, and unfortunately, grid call is not churning out any information to the public. Grid call sits at the control center of the power sector. And they're able to see which of the power plants are dispatching power and tell why others are not dispatching. And so Greco must explain to Ghanaians why we are going through this. The ECG knows very well that it's receiving inadequate amount of power from the transmitter Greco. And that uh, volume is not able to meet our peak demand. And Greco uh, and ECG is also quiet and unwilling to issue out a timetable to forewarn consumers for planning purposes. And we are believing that they are playing into the political game. And that would taint or probably taint the reputation of the power sector. They must go about their business and they must inform their consumers what the situation is. But have you asked, is it, uh, is it going to be with us for some time? I've mentioned that one already. So long as we don't generate much money from the sale of power to be able to pay the producers, the producers have, we have come to find out from there will keep on threatening us and will keep on playing, you know, the way politicians want them to play. And so do so will be with us. But Nana, it's our... Is our power generation not diversified enough in terms of source? I mean, there's hydro, mm. there's Bui with Akosombo, Bong a bit, there's all these um, Takrade enclave, there's the Pone enclave as well, there's Ghana gas. I, I thought over the past decade, we have diversified our power generation enough to hedge or shield us against one fuel problem. So how come we're still having these challenges? The, the diversification is, is solid and strong. We have enough of an install capacity to meet our peak demand. There is no problem with it. We have the hydros working from Bon to B to Akosombo. They are all working. Uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, Akosombo is not able to churn out more than 100 megawatts. As of last night, when I checked with the dashboard, they were doing about 700 and something. Meanwhile, all the systems are running. It means that there is an issue with the fuel supply or the water level has gone low. That's one. Aside that, we have enough of thermal capacity as well. It is not like the plants are not willing to work. The plants are there. Fuel supply for the plant to work is the problem. Money to pay, Bernard, the fuel supply is the problem that government has to deal with. And so for power install capacity, it's been dealt with long ago. It's diversified. It's been dealt with by the past government. What the current government needs to do is ensure there's constant flow of fuel for the plant. That is all the problem we have today. But then from July today, let me, let me tell you, Bernard, from July to date, ECG is unable, un, unable to fulfill more than 25% of the invoices given to them by the ITP. But now that's strange because um, I think under this current ECG leadership, we've seen an uptick in collections. We've seen the insistence on state agencies paying. We've seen the disconnection of schools and government agencies for not paying. Indeed, I think the last 
half of 2023, <clears throat> they are they are revenue collection yielded them excess of five billion. Mm. So why are they not able to meet their invoices? Mm. I mean, people's meters are running like we say in both. ECG seems to be collecting a lot of money. Mm. So what is the problem? Yes, yes, Bernard, um, and and we must uh, uh, applaud the the new MDs in so well, and we support their revenue mobilization drive. And as Ghanaians, we must be disciplined in paying our uh, our bills so as to for them to generate enough here. But Bernard, when they they collect this, even if today they are able to collect hundred percent, of which it's not the case. Remember, there are there are technical losses, five percent for Greco, more than ten uh, percent uh, for ECG and Netco, and so about fifteen percent of the power given to them by the power plant to sell is lost to technical reasons. We have not even come to the commercial. If they are able to generate more money today, also note that there are old debts to pay the IPPs. So some of the money will go defraying that debt and some will come and co uh, recover current invoices as well. Commercial losses is in excess of 15% within the ECG domain. And so put all together, we can say that when you give them 1,000 megawatts, the ECG and Grico, uh, uh, Grico can account for less than uh, 750 megawatts. Therefore, cannot account for more than 750 megawatts if you give them 1,000 megawatts. These are issues that are sitting, waiting to be dealt with. Right. And so we must also reinforce our, our technical, you know, uh, part of the power system. Very well. Thank you, Nana Moesi the seventh. He is the executive secretary of the Institute of Energy Security. Executive Secur director. Executive director, Institute of Energy Security. Loads of your messages are coming through. This is the line again. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Oh, a light. Yeah. I, I think people should let us know what's yeah. going on. You know, um, I, I want Nathan to do something. He's not yeah. listening to me. I want Nathan to plot <laughs> the doomsaw graph yes. based on the Location. areas that people uh -huh. have said no every problem. time. So we will be happy to hear from people. If you have a, a if you have an urgent mm -hmm. doomsaw situation, you want to communicate. You, we'll you can give us a call. We'll be happy to hear from you. Zero three zero two 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 six one seven one zero three zero two 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 four nine five nine zero three zero two two three zero zero seven five. You can give us a call right now. Let's know what's happening. When yeah. did your light go off? Yeah. Do you have power to even call <laughs> at mm. all? That's the question. It's just another matter. Yeah. So we will be happy to hear just for the next 10 minutes or yes. so, which areas are having challenges with power and also any challenges with meters? Because a lot of times when we call PRC or we call ECG to talk about light, they say, oh, where are you calling from? Which area are you lo looking at? So it's, and, and it's not even useful to start mentioning where you specifically live. Okay, so I can't say I live here or there. It's not the best. So we will need the listeners to tell us if the light has been going off, when it went off, how long it's been going off, where it's gone off, so that we can use that in our next interview. So, Excellent. 0302 224959. Is that the number? 0302 230075. And uh, 0302 226171. We haven't opened the phone lines in a long time. So, if you want to reach us, yeah. reach us 0302 224959. 0302 223. 0075 yes. 0302226171 simple question where are you calling from when did it go off how long has it been going off yes. have you established a pattern yet mm -hmm. or we, it's just it's early days <laughs> we need to put it in the graph yeah. so we can come up with a map very important <laughs> it's very, very serious important. so Kale who do you have on the line this very morning like we have Eric on the line good morning Eric where are you calling from good morning sir I'm calling from Chadu what's happening in Chadu good. Chadu. What, what, what's happening in Chadu yeah, Chad, um, Isla, that is Isla. Okay, so what's happening there? Do you have light? How long has it been off? It's if you don't, and um, what times have you established the pattern? Um, I think for us, they've already given us an informal timetable. Um, somewhere around 10 a.m. it goes off. Sometimes it comes back around 3. Sometimes it can go off around 6.30 and come back around 10. And unfortunately for me, I just started a restaurant business. Sure. I'm going to buy all my meat and stuff. And what's that? 
anyway. Hey, how is your how, when when the light is on? How is your consumption? Hey, for the consumption, I used to buy um hundred CDs. Okay, for the month I was buying two hundred, mm -hmm. and then they said they increased the tariff, so I started buying two hundred, and then it lasted for like one and a half weeks. And then I'll buy hundred, and then the hundred became one week, and then the hundred becomes three days. Hey, hundred in three yeah. days. Three days. Wow. And I put up my air conditioning. I put up everything. I tell my wife, if you have to see something, or put one off, and my wife will be completely don't put up the freezer. But then I will sneak out and put up the freezer. So, so it's a pro. So you are saying, Chado, it goes off every day at ten and comes back either at three p.m. Yeah. So you have your own timetable. Is it off this morning as we speak? Or is it on? No, no, no. It's, it's on now. Uh, mm. Keep it on. Mm. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. 0302-224959. And then 0302-230075. In the meantime, good morning, team. In Amrahia, yes. hmm. Katamanso Road. That's Supreme Genesis Estate Area. Lights go out at least twice a week, unannounced. Hmm. It's usually in the afternoon while we're at work. Just this Tuesday from hmm. 2 p.m., Till dawn around 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. I asked for the cost of prepaid mm -hmm. per month. I made this doing so. <laughs> the less we say, the better. Lydia and Theo from Amrahia. The joint message yeah, from Lydia and Theo. Yeah, this one says, My lights were was disconnected early February. Interestingly, my meter keeps reading, and I'll be paying about the same amount if my lights should be on. Meanwhile, I'm in darkness. The disconnection was due to a huge jump mm. in my December 2023 bill mm. from an average of 200 to 728 Whoa. in the month. Then they adjusted it to about 420. It says there's no credibility in the bills from ECG. Mm. Emmanuel, Emmanuel from, from Dodo is not happy at all. Yes. This Who do you have on the line next? Bernard Edem joins us from Ashima, New York. Mm. Good morning, Edem. And uh, what's happening in Ashima, New York? Good morning, Caleb. Hey, the light went off yesterday. Yesterday around... And it came this morning, 6 o'clock. That's 12 hours. Ago. Sorry, when, when did it go off, Adam? Yesterday, 6 o'clock in the evening. And it came this morning, 6 o'clock. Okay, so that's like 6 to 6. Yeah, 6 to 6. Even the current is not even... It can't even power your... Uh, the refrigerator than your EC. It can't even power. Mm. Mm. Okay. Thank you, Adam. So Adam is calling from Ashima, New York. He says the light went off at 6 a.m., came back at 6 p.m., and the voltage, the voltage is low. So instead yeah. of current, you say voltage. Here's one. Tessinungwa Estates. Yes. Two nights in a row. Mm. Last night, it went off at 7 p.m., came on at 2 a.m. Yeah. Two nights ago, it went off around 6.30 p.m., came on at 3 a.m. Mm. This doesn't look like a good pattern to no. do to use to do any, any mapping. Not. So not. 6, uh, 7 p.m. off, 2 a.m. on. Uh... 6 30 p.m. off 3 a.m. on okay i can see a pattern there yeah. i think PM, yeah i think 10. it's yeah my sister in agboba has been experiencing low current and sometimes some sockets go off she thought it was a fault in her house turns out it's from it's a form of doing so so that's <laughs> this is, this is mm. all right zero three zero two 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 four nine five nine zero three zero two two three zero zero seven five yes let's get another call caleb Who's here? We have Kwame on the line. Good morning, Kwame. And where are you calling us from? Hi, good morning, K11 team. I'm calling from Pong. Right. Interestingly, mine is <laughs> a bit different. Okay. Until I tuned into the city, I didn't know what you guys were talking about, doing so and all of that. I don't remember the last time we had a light go off, especially in the night. But our issue is water. For the past two months, we've not had water. Oh, okay. I don't know whether it's because we are close or so green, but... Maybe you can find out, but it's not hard to light go out, yeah. especially in the night. Yeah, yeah you, are, you, are, you are right. Along. You are right because we interviewed Nana Moisi, who says he also lives in the Pone Enclave. Yes, and I think you people, because you are close to the power source, yeah. it gets to you first. <clears throat> but this water situation, how long have you had it? <clears throat> it's getting about two months. You've not had water run. So, so you buy you buy months. water you buy water from trucks. Yes, you buy it, and the price keeps soaring. You are just taking advantage. How of much do you pay for a poly tank? Okay, let me say we we buy thirteen thousand liters. Mm -hmm. We buy it for six hundred Ghana today. And this is the whole of Pong area. No water for for two months. Yes, Pong area community twenty six. The affordable, uh, wow. uh, this oh, affordable. Yeah. That area. whole area. Yes. Wow. yes, it's getting two months. If anything at all, maybe probably just once 
have we had water run? And even that one didn't last for 12 hours. We will find out from the Ghana Water Company. But is there, can I get a house to rent at home? Because me, I need power. So <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> sure, we can talk about that later. Yes. I mean, when it comes to. Mm -hmm. In Ghana, I'm like, what exactly are they talking about? I mean, for power, no, no. I mean, I've right. been living there for about three years, and I can count the number of times you have light go out, especially in the night. Good and for even you. at daytime. Good for you, Kwame. If you have a boy's boy quarters, let me know. I mean, because uh, I've been enjoying it. We need water, so please, we will be glad you can do something about water for us. Right, thank Kwame, you so thank you for joining us with your comments. And uh, the number again is 0302 or 0302 Two three zero zero seven five on WhatsApp. The line is zero five four nine nine eight six nine nine six. So the line to call us this morning zero three zero two 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 four nine five nine or zero three zero two two three zero zero seven five. If we have any one on the line, we'll have you shortly. But good morning, Bernard. Mm -hmm. uh, you were talking about the lightning problem. Cheraponi had its share from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Yeah. Yeah. How much power do they consume? Cheraponi. Cheraponi is the light off. So, <laughs> from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., it goes off from 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. Uh, this morning. As for the low voltage, it's too much. Mm. Ali Dukarande mm. sent that through. Hello, Bernard and team. Mm. This power calibration thing, eh? I used to use an average of 10 CDs a day. So when I recharge 100 CDs, it lasts for almost two weeks. Mm. Now, every re recharge of the same 100 CDs takes three days only. Mm. No new gadgets too. It's just really confusing. Hammond joins us now, Bernard. Where's Good morning. Hammond, where are you calling from? Right. Good morning to yourself, Caleb, and uh, Bernard, and or especially uh, Richard Sky as well. Mm -hmm. I think I'm calling for Kade in the steel region. Okay, Kade. The Padubi municipality. Um, right. Yes. Hamad, what's happening in Kade? Do you have light? Yes, in, in, in Kade we have light, but the most unfortunate thing that has happened is the increases in the bills that we get every. Um, myself, I think I'll stay home because, you know, if you don't have much on your hand to do in terms of work, you get to go around to do other things to find money. But you go and come back, and it's to surprise you that I was seeing uh, between um, 200 cities. It rose to 800 cities. And then now it's 1,300. Just last week, they gave me 1,300. I have other people in the neighborhood who are also complaining that sometimes they have about five people in their house and then they can complain that they are having, they are paying around 8,900, 7,000, which I can share the bills with you if you wouldn't mind. So, so this has been the trajectory wow. in, in, in the area. We've been crying that if possible, this video, you are a prepaid. Uh, have you gone to the, the, have you gone to the office and to, so you can appreciate that. Have you gone to the ECG office to complain about this? Bernard, Bernard, you go there he come to your house, and what he'll tell you is that um, it, it's been an estimated bill. It's an estimated bill. It's a problem. Now, we are paying, we're using, we pay online. And so as you pay online, we credit your account, and you get to find out that, oh, this is what I paid, and this is the balance I have. Mm. It, will, it will interest you to know that you, you check your bill on, on your phone, and then it has, you know, skyrocketed to something else that you don't see that that's it. You go there. It just tell the stories. Oh, go okay. next month. It will, it will balance up. Nothing balances up, and we are there to be just last month. As, as I I do not have the work that I I do small small things, and then I, I paid I paid six hundred cities last month. Two people. We are just two people, and wow. my younger brother in the house. Mm. I'll go and come. Go. I don't even stay mm. home. That is the problem here. Right. And when you ask. People in Kede, they will tell you. Great. Thank you, Hammond, uh, for joining us from Kede with your issue. His has got to do with the billing that, yes, from 200 to yeah. 800 to 1,002, yeah. and then the balance never. Caleb, uh, there, there are a lot of people whose comments 
seem to agree yeah. with what he just yeah, said yeah. about the the rate at which the power is is moving. Yeah. You know, they basically somebody said. Uh, let me read this one for you. Say he yeah. used to get um, for a three bedroom house. Uh-huh. He's spending two thousand seven hundred CDs. Wow! How many days? Per month. Wow! That's a lot of money. A lot for a three bedroom house. Yeah. Yes, for a three bedroom house. Yeah. Interesting. There are more comments here. Good morning, team. My area has constant power fluctuation. It can go uh, so low. You think the light is going off, then it it comes up as high as the bulb would blow off, as if the bulb would blow blow off. What is the problem? Can we sue ECG when they? Um, destroy any of our appliances echo from Israel uh, so Wutum. yeah our lights went off yesterday around 6 we called some ECG men since they said it was a fault when the lights came my meter read a negative of 200 Ghana cities I had to settle the debt else I would slept I would have slept in uh, darkness hey Ghana you are Bernard the truth is that so 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 many so so many homes and facilities have been wired very poorly or badly that it leads to leakage. I think we read this much earlier. So yeah, so poor wiring also leading to leakage. Of things I want to like. Let yeah. me read a few more yes, on the right. on the the cost, like yeah. the way people's power consumption. Adam says, Bernard, I did not update on my ECG meter at mm. the Botiano office, mm. and since then my credits run like crazy. Mm. Now Andy says, Bernard, myself and my wife were calculating bills last night. We both have the power up. To our surprise, our monthly bill has doubled. We're buying 400 a month. Now we are buying 800 to 900 CDs a month. Hmm. That's from Andy uh, commenting on um, the power situation. From 400 a month to 800, 900 a month. I am telling you. That's serious. Then um, here's another one. Uh, he says, uh, Bernard, you are so right. ECG, I suspect, have recalibrated their meters. Mm. From December 29 last year to date, mm. I have bought prepaid to the tune of 2,700 mm. for a three-bedroom apartment that will be mostly out until 5 p.m. Mm. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Bernard Kweku, uh, Daniel is joining us from Kwabena. Good morning, Kweku. And uh, what's the situation where you are? Yeah, good morning, CTFM team. How are you doing? We're good. Oh, We're good. Thanks okay, for asking. Okay, the situation at Kwabena it's okay, we have light. But I have a problem with my meter. Because for the past three days, I have to sleep in darkness. You can imagine uh, after a hot sun and in the evening when I close and I get home just to take a rest, <laughs> I don't have light. Because have you, have you reported this sleep. to the uh, officials? Yes, I did. I, I did. And what is so annoying is, is, is they came to change the meter to a prepaid. And then when you go, they'll give you a private vendor number right in front of them. They ask you to text and then the person replies you, and then the person says he's checking, and the person gets back to you in front of them, and then the person says, oh, it's not at the system. And if you know those mm-hmm. meters that you are fixing are not on the system, then why do you come all the way to my house and come and replace and make me sleep in darkness? It is so annoying, very, very annoying, that we have a company called Electricity Company, and they are taking money from us, and they being paid, and they are not, they are not doing the work. It, it's, so, it's so worried. I'm just hoping and praying that one day, our political uh, 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 leaders will be bold enough and sold electricity company to a private company because private people do the right thing. Government mm-hmm. workers are not doing anything. That's the truth. They don't like it when you say, all oh, that, you know, is going on strike. They demand money. So how long have you so had this? The problem I, I, in this country. It's I, so annoying. I, so so to, to hold on. I, I, have, I, I have two questions for you. Are you the only person in the area having this challenge? And number two, how long no, have you I'm not the only person. This? Mm-hmm. I'm not the only person. I even went to East Legon yesterday. There's a woman who is complaining. It's the same thing. When you are not ready, why do you change the meters? They brought a new meter and then they will tell you, oh, <laughs> oh So send send the send the photo of the meter to the WhatsApp number. We'll forward it I to did, ECG. I did, I did. Yes, I even did. I was at, in the line, I even did. But, but I did. And when so Bernard is saying send it to a WhatsApp line. It's from national service. You see some national service people there who have knowledge, who has no knowledge about electricity or energy or something, and they are there, they are turning to you. It's okay. very worrying. Thank you for your call, bro. Thank you. At least right. the authorities have listened. Mm. Hopefully, they'll do something so about this. So that from Kwabenya. More comments are coming in. We'll be bringing them to you there.